it is Arkansas ASMR and it has been 10 months and a lot has happened in um, in 10 months a lot um, so I'm gonna give a warning right now I'm gonna talk about loss um, I'm gonna mention deployment a little bit but barely to like military um, but loss so it has been A rough couple months so a lot has happened the cat might come in we got a cat now so we moved towns I'm in a different town now still the same state so we moved towns um, let's see moved towns got married got a cat uh, adopted a cat in the local shelter uh, let's see my husband's away with the military and it's gonna be a year. So I thought there's just been, okay. So I don't know why I'm like nervous to say it. Okay, so uh, we moved towns, we bought our first house, um, married. And then the day after we got married, um, my little brother passed away. And you just don't, you don't expect anything like, I, I didn't. He was 24. We were really close for most of our lives. He doesn't live in my state. And um, it really rocked our world in a bad way, of course. And I just lost my interest in creative things in life for a while I was just like what's the point you know he's gone like just the sweetest most honest boy is not here anymore and I had some trouble even with just creative things and a sense of community where I'm uh, where I moved to because I'm in a new place my husband's been amazing my parents are so incredibly strong. We got this guy. He's very nice. I like him. He purrs really loud. He's a sweetie. My brother would have loved him. He loved kitties. Wanna purr? He purrs really loud. Wanna say hi? No, I don't wanna kiss. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he got a little nibble. No, no nibble. No. <laughs> so, it's just been a lot and I watch YouTube every day I do I love YouTube for entertainment and um, I just it's it's great and I was watching Nordic whispers I think last night or the night before I was like I need to get back into maybe I can like really take my time I don't know he's away my husband's away out of the country and I have this guy and I have my dog who's in the corner right here and I live in such a quiet 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 small community that um I don't know I have it good it's just I've been there's been so much struggle with the loss of my brother in new place and um married and although I love being married uh so yeah you want to join us gonna join us so I just kind of wanted to get on here and ramble and update my life I guess I love him look at him so good he's been very nice actually um we got him right after not right after but not too long after my brother passed because I just I don't know I was by myself in this big old house um it's like a really tiny tiny southern town with a weird name but um it's nice it's very nice i love it and the house is old it's from the 50s well old for here it's like the oldest house on the block but it's a nice block i'm like staring outside at the street and the neighbor um it's a nice bigger house um so yeah it's just been interesting it's been a crazy couple months um I have, I've had video ideas. 
especially before everything with my brother and I had, I don't know, like I quilt and I do photography and, um, what are my other hobbies? Oh, hike it. You know, I, I, I took a pause in so much and I want to get back into being creative and self-expression and just like enjoying life again. Cause like I said, I just, for a while there, I was like, well, what's the point? You know, what's the point? And my parents have shown such incredible strength. It's insane. I'm their only child now. And I mean, I'll never always be, I, I still don't use the past tense a lot. Um, because my brother and I were really close in age and I don't know, I do, I still consider that I have a brother or had a brother. I really don't know how, I think I say have. Um, and I still talk about him. I don't talk about the death. I just talk about, you know, who he was and, or is, you know, and um, everything about him. <laughs> this old house has like a old place for a rotary phone or a phone in the wall. And back then in the fifties, and I kind of turned it into an altar, like not in a creepy way for my brother, but just like I started putting stuff of his on there. So now when I walk, it's like right out there. Whenever I walk in the hallway, I have that. And then I was raised Catholic, which down here where I am now, it's like all Baptists and Pentecostals. There's like three Baptist churches on this road. And this is a small town, really small. We have one stoplight, one stoplight. And it's not even hanging. It's like stationary in the ground, um, sticking up. <laughs> it's one of those oil towns. Um, that was a big thing, you know, it was, it was big back then and now it's not. So I have like a little altar almost for my brother. It's just like all his stuff on this thing and then the Bible sitting where the phone book would have back in the day. Um, I've been crazy renovating the house. I think that was a really good, like, distressor um, after my brother passed. I did this room. My husband was still here, so we did this room. He did the light. All the ha oh, I did the kitchen. Oh, I did so much. I think six rooms, like, including, like, kitchen, dining room, hallway is one room. So the hallway out there has been redone. And I actually turned off, um, there was like an old, um, ceiling fan. So I turned that off and, uh, oh my gosh, my mom, I will call my mom right back. I talk to my mom and dad every single day. And then my grandmother, I only have one left and, um, we talk every single day, especially after my brother. But, um, it's just been... It's been a struggle, but I'm feeling better and I'm getting back into things. And I was like, I need to get on YouTube, especially it's so quiet. Like I need to take advantage of doing role plays again or doing things that I, I met such great people on here in the comments and messages. I think one of y'all found like a social media head and there's, there's a good community out here. There's some, um, there, there are some, oh my gosh, I almost said, uh, like, fluffers or some fluffer fluffers. My, my mother-in-law says, like, rude, she, like, makes up words when she's upset. I don't know what I was about to say. I think I was supposed to say something she would. Um, yeah, so I want to do a lot more content. I have, hopefully, I don't want to promise. I'm not going to promise, but I'm going to have the weekend like right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll try to try, but really today was just kind of letting people know kind of like a virtual diary here. I mean, I have videos from when I was in college and studying geography and I've had my graduate, I, my, I had my master's since then and I've moved a couple times since then. It's kind of nice to have like a video diary of this and I hope I'm not talking too loud. I am very loud of a person. We're changing my office's floors to like these fake wood floors. And I'm like, y'all, I am so loud. Like it's going to echo throughout the whole, well, it's a small office building. I still work on the same job. I love it. It's a great job. But yeah, it's going to be echoing in there. And I'm like, y'all, I'm so loud. I walk like, 
I have the least elegant walk ever. Like, heel. And then I'm on the phone and I'm like, hey, like, you know, every morning I'm kind of like, I'm like, hi, Miss Betty, how are you doing this morning? I don't know. I don't work in customer service. So I just like talk to my coworkers and stuff really like, hey, everybody. Um, and there was a, and they've been really great with everything with my brother. They've been so wonderful, so big on mental health. It has been a blessing. It really has been a big blessing. People I met, friends, co-workers, just great, great people. I was able to go out of state and I planned his funeral, <sighs> which was something I hope no one ever has to do for their little brother. Um, but, you know, my parents were involved. It's just like in the end, I remember the day of, I was like, took control. I was like, all right. I'm going to, like, when we were I was meeting people and greeting people, and I think I went into, like, this automatic, you know, I don't know, just, I kind of had, like, a, I don't know what the word is right now, but I'm getting distracted by, like, these squirrels outside doing something weird. Um, <laughs> but I just kind of went with the motions, and that week was, I remember every day I was exhausted exhausted but I was like trying to stay up because my best friend was with me and we had so many people visiting um the house with Chris with my brother and I just remember the funeral was like I like went to overdrive and I was like I had prepared a speech I'm gonna do speech first and then we're gonna open up the floor and kind of figure it out and it was a very nice funeral we had him cremated because my mom wants to take him with him we were born and raised in that house basically and he died in that house and they want to move so they're going to take him with it which I think is a good idea I don't want to I feel bad like I wouldn't don't want to leave him you know um so yeah that was a bit this has been very heavy but I just kind of wanted to come on here and be like it's been a while and I have a better setup I really can do more on here I just need to probably should have called my mom back I, I just I called her this morning <laughs> we talked to I get groceries and then I called her on the way back and then now I think she just is gonna say something else but um yeah my parents are doing they're so strong I mean they're still together they I don't mean to do it together for like 30 plus years. Um, but I like check in on every single day and I'm hoping to go up there and see him for July 4th weekend because it's around my birthday, around my dad's birthday. We're just going to kind of have, we had some big plans this year, but we're not going to do them. It's just, they involve my brother and we're not doing anything like that right now. We're re, we're reevaluating everything. And just going to kind of redo and um, it's going to be different. So, uh, yes. So if you have ideas, I, I actually have comments. I have to go look at the old comments of the old ideas that I never would have got around to doing. Um, I've been thinking about doing some with crystals because there's a crystal mine not far from here. And I went to go dig crystals and I found a bunch. So I have like boxes labeled rocks. So I was like, oh, I can show, you know the digging, like, I went digging for crystals, um, I went digging for, I haven't gone digging for diamonds, that's a thing, that's a thing, but digging for crystals, there's all different types of things, it's not close to me, but you can go out there and do it, there's one that's free, we did the free one, um, there's, I, I have, I've had quite a few ideas, and when we got the cat, I was thinking, I'm like, He's so nice and sweet and gentle and his purr is nice and relaxing. Maybe we can have a calming night. Um, especially, I don't know, if it rains. I think it's going to rain today. But we will see. Um, yeah, I've just been working really, really hard lately. I think after everything with my brother, my mom and I just overdrive into work. Everything into our jobs. And then my dad was the opposite, but now he's getting back there. And he's been real busy. He, he's out in Georgia. That's not where we're from, but like work. 
Um, my mom's just been, she's a nut nurse at a prison. She is a tough little girl. Broad. Broad. That's a lot. She says broad, but like it doesn't sound mean. But when I say it, it sounds awful. Um, no, my mom is as tough as nails. Polish little lady. We love her. Um, so, oh, I'm Polish. Oh my gosh. I've been so bad about language. I, after everything with my brother, I just honestly stopped. I was really good because we were going to have honeymoon in Poland, but it just didn't feel right anymore. And then my husband, he got sent out of the country, really just out of the blue. So like, we'll do a honeymoon in like a year and a half. Sorry, I got a notification. There's a motion at my front door and I can see my front door. There is no motion at my front door. Thank y'all for listening. This has been a long, just ramble. I'll put a warning about loss. Um, just because for me, I don't know. I don't like to stay bottled up even after everything. I told my co boss about it. I don't know. I'm very open. And I, thankfully, my job is one of the things we own is a hospice care. And like right away I had grief counselors reaching out to me they're so sweet and in May we're gonna do my job is actually getting buying them they bought this memorial brick that's gonna be put in the center of town he's busy he has a bunch of time well not my the town I work in I moved um we're gonna put his name and I don't know I think that'd be really sweet and that's at the end of May and my mom will come and and just kind of have like a little like and they're Chris, and we talk about my brother a lot, so it'd be nice to have that little block, and, um, I don't know, so uh, there's just little things, uh, my job's been really great with, with that, and there's other things I've been thinking about doing with him, or for him, about him, um, yeah, so, thank y'all for listening, this is Arkansas SNR, I forgot, I apologize but you I look like a rough mess um I was swimming today so I look a bit rough but I feel better now I don't know I'm getting oh fitness I'm getting really back into fitness and I was not prior so for after everything with my brother so now I'm getting really back into it and I just I'm feeling better about everything so yeah, it's a journey. It goes up and down, and I don't know. I will see what else I want to do on here. Um, I'm not going to makeup. I don't wear makeup. I don't know anything about makeup. I've had makeup requests once or twice. So I'm like, I don't know. I stopped even doing anything with my eyebrows. I'm going to get a unibrow. I have a lot of hair. Like, thick, thick hair. And you can see, I haven't even seen the sun in a while. So it's dark here and then where the sun touches the city you can see I'm in office a lot <laughs> so thank y'all for listening and I hope to be back even just small things like I could do a lot of show and tales I have a lot of random stuff in here or even the town be like hey this is our one stoplight well, welcome I don't know <laughs> A cat and a dog. They're such sweeties. They're the sweetest dog. Animals. So, before this is too long, thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me kind of get this off my chest and just kind of be ready to be like, hey, this happened. Um, a lot of good happened in the last 10 months, but then a lot of bad. So, and we're resilient. And yeah, thank you all for listening. And Oh, I probably don't show my face now. I only did like once. I don't know. I don't know why I was so scared to do it. Okay. Bye, right, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a friend. That's a golden cross here. No, I wasn't trying to be. Anyway. <laughs> thank you, guys. I Thank y'all. Thank you all. I appreciate you. Bye.